the brilliance of what you do is so necessary. And it's something that we don't think about, right? Because we think about the physical stature of our body, what our body looks like. Yeah. But yet we don't think about the brain and the vision and everything that actually, that's the reason how your body can look that way. Sure. Right. Yeah. We don't look at that. So where do you think for you that emotional crossroads or the trauma crossroads and the physical crossroads, where do you think that was for you during that time that you were dealing with this? Like what were the crossroads? Yeah. What do you mean? So like, so like when, when you said a few minutes ago, you said there was some trauma that you weren't dealing oh, with. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But yet there was a, there was a, there was a, a strong physical strength and yes. presence. Yes. So do you think there's a crossroads there? Oh, gosh. Well, yes, yes. Because I'm at the crossroads right now because, and I'm not putting blame on anybody, but I didn't have the best relationship with my mom growing up and our dynamic is what kind of created the foundation of, of me kind of not feeling comfortable speaking up for myself. And I'm at the crossroads right now because I'm in the process of, of meeting up with, I haven't seen my mom since I left from California in 2020. And there's been a few texts, but we really have not been in contact. And so I believe in regards to my cancer and, and the healing that needs to be done, that there are some things that, that I need to speak with her about mm -hmm. more so that happened kind of before I left right? that other people know about because I've expressed it, but I've never really ex expressed it to her. And I think that I'm at that crossroads right now in that I'm facing something head on. And regardless of what the outcome is, just knowing that, I'm ready emotionally to have that conversation is huge because I was living my life as if that was going to be what our relationship was, which was something that wasn't existing. You accepted that. I accepted that. Mm -hmm. And and that still may be the case in the future. I don't know, but I'm at the crossroads right now and that I'm taking a step in that direction to, to have a very crucial conversation with her and, and hoping that at least she can hear me regardless of what happens afterwards. If she can at least receive what I have to say, it'll feel good regardless of what our relationship is after that. Yeah. So what, what do you think if you had a message after you've gone through all this kind of stuff and just, just the whole dynamic from start to finish, from getting the information from the internal dialogue that you had in those quiet moments when it was just you and God, yeah. you know, um, and that, what, what would you want to leave people with after going through this? What would that, like, what's the most powerful thing for you? Hmm. Well, I agree with that statement you made earlier about change and what needs to happen for people to change. And for me to embrace the softer side and for me to learn how to ask for help and speak up for myself, I had to go through this experience. And so though it's hard, you have to look at, I don't believe in the, the saying things happen for a reason. What I believe in is that things happened and we have to learn from them. Mm -hmm. And we have to figure out how to process it and how we learn from it moving forward. And I think the best advice I can get, give is that when you're in it, and it's not like I wasn't asking why. Right. Like, why does this happen? Like, yeah. I I was, it's okay. You're going to have, the mind's going to going to kind of, the thoughts are going to come. But you kind of have to look at just What's going to come from this? Like, what beauty could possibly come from the situation? And what is God trying to tell me in regards to what I'm missing? Because sometimes you got to, you know, you, you got to get pushed on the ground and yeah. kind of pinned down <laughs> and have somebody shake some sense into you for you, for you yeah. to understand what needs to, to change in your life. And that's what the cancer did for me. So I, though it's hard, you have to look for the positive. Yeah. You have to, you have to, you have to find gratitude in something because even if, if it's the fact that for me, I was still alive, that was something, but yeah, that's the best advice I can give is you have to find that gratitude. You have to be thankful still, and you have to kind of somehow look in the future and think like, what, what could possibly actually be better in my life because of this moving right. forward. Right. What can you create and build from what here? Can you create? Yeah. What kind of future can point. I can, can I actually create? Right. That's maybe less stressful or or um, more fulfilling. And yeah. There's there's definitely always kind of 
a message there. You just have to find it. 